Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Green Mahim and today I'm bringing you part 27 of Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. So in the last episode, we actually went through Pyrus Mountain because we went and spoke to Kiki. She wouldn't give us strength because it had disobeyed the laws of her school or some crap like that. And so she said she was going to get Victoria to graduate from the academy and she sent me off to fight one of her pupils, who actually happened to be the ex-fire type gym leader, Cal. So we went up Pyrus Mountain, solved the puzzle there, beat his ass a lot faster and easier than I thought we would actually, which seems to be a common trend for the most part. And um, yeah, now we've done that, we can go and report to Kiki we've done it, and hopefully she will give us the HM and maybe even a badge. So let's go. Sensei, please. If you keep pushing yourself, you're going to hurt yourself. No. Willpower is a muscle. I will not let mine slip away. I have always said one must fight hard to defeat the chaos inside. This is my chaos. Please allow me to fight it. Oh, Vero, you've returned. Hmm, seems like she's got some, uh, medical issues there. Please pay no regard to the weakness you just witnessed. I'm perfectly fine. I was just... only... winded. How was Cal? Er, uh, I mean, were you able to beat him? Sure was. So you did. I see. Victoria, too, has already been informed of everything she must do. That means there is only one thing left to do. Vero, you will face me in an official Reborn League match. Yep, I figured as much. If you win, you will have your badge, but more importantly, your machine. I will be waiting in the courtyard. Very well. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Apologies. I am fine. Oh, Kiki, don't push yourself too hard on my account. Just give us the HM and let's leave. <laughs> no, but really, don't push yourself. All right. Uh... Now, Victoria tried to stop us when Shelly was in a bad state of mind. And now, her sensei is in a bad state of mind. Or, or health, rather. So, now, I'm expecting her to stop me, so I'm putting Meowstic at the front to deal with her. Vero, wait! I have to tell you, I... When, we were, when you were gone, Kiki didn't give me the graduation exam at all. Instead, she just showed me how to run things around the academy gave me an overview on policies, and Vero, Kiki is... she's dying. She's been sick for months, but she's tried her hardest to hide it from everyone. Only, she told me before, and she told me that there's no cure. And now, I think she intends for me to take over when she... Never mind, but Vero, I'm sorry, but I don't feel okay just letting you fight her like this. Yup. I'm used to this by now. She's already exhausted. Look, I know how you feel, Victoria, but what you've got to understand, as I keep saying, people's lives are at stake here. Me battling with Kiki will not kill her. But me not battling with Kiki could potentially get those children killed. Weighing my options, I am going to have to fight her, and if you get in my way, I am going to have to stop you. I hope you realize this. So here, again... Alright, I guess she does realize this. Very well. You brought this on yourself, Victoria. And she led with Scraggy. Great. I I forgot that she led with that thing, so Meowstic was obviously a bad choice, even if I did get that boost. Alright. So, I'm just going to switch into Sceptile then, because he should be able to deal with this Scraggy just fine. Is that the best you've got? Payback? Gonna hit you up with this leaf blade. I need to reorganize my moves actually. I'm gonna do that now, if I can. Can I do that? Yeah, alright, I'm gonna put leaf blade here. Um discharge, flame burst, psychic, psy shock. Gonna put fire fang there. Beat up by uh, earthquake, muddy water. There we go. I, th I think this is good. It might take me a little to adjust to where the moves are now, but... Okay, did it not change it? It's not changed it for Sceptile. 
Maybe I just have to do a turn first, or maybe it just won't do it for this battle, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're just going to hit it with Leaf Blade regardless. I was worried it would actually do dual chop for a second there, because that's where I moved it to, but I guess not. Alright, Heracross. Hmm. See, this is an issue, because one close combat will destroy Houndoom, but one Megahorn will destroy Meowstic. That being said, though... Fire Fang will not take out Heracross. It may if it's a crit, but I'm not relying on that. But Meowstic, on the other hand, should take this out in one hit. Never mind. And it knows Night Slash. It got a crit, but it didn't kill me, so that's fine. Chocolate Ice Cream. I see. Well, doesn't matter. Took you out. Level 42 now. Thanks for giving Meowstic some experience right before I had to fight Kiki, by the way. Alright. Embor. That sounds like a job for Whiskash because I don't really feel like using Meowstic against that thing. Earthquake. You know, I would have thought that they'd have taught uh, Embor like Brick Break or something by now. I mean, if it has an item that ex like, makes it more likely to get more hits with Arm Thrust, then fair enough. I think there's an item that can do that. Because uh, if it does, then Arm Thrust could potentially do more damage than... Uh, Brick Break, but only if it gets enough hits. Overall, I just feel like Brick Break's more reliable. Okay, Gallade. I was waiting on this thing. Um, I'm going to use my neck trick for this. Purely because uh, Meowstic's already at low health. So I don't really want to go using Shadow Ball when I could save it for uh, Harry Armor. Because Harry Armor's dangerous. Okay, that's fine. Even though she's taken out my main neck trick here, it's okay. Because now a Sceptile can finish the job. Oh, the, the, it did move. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, Dual Chop still killed her, but I had a chance to miss, so that was actually pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, Harry Armor. I'm going to send out Meowstic to finish this, and if it doesn't somehow KO it, then I can just use Sceptile again to finish the job, so it's totally fine. Please, for Kiki's sake. I know how you feel, but you got to think about the kids too. Come to think of it, where's Kane? He was so eager to get strength, but he's just not anywhere to be found. Kiki didn't mention that he'd arrived either, as far as I recall. Kane must have not made it here yet, but considering he left before me, that's actually kind of weird. Alright, level 41. She says nothing. It's for the kids, right? It sure is. I'm glad you understand that. I'll just... go. Very well. Alright, well, I don't know. If I go out onto the battlefield... Oh, fuck. I can see the city from here. Gods, it's ugly. Impressive, but ugly. Okay, I'm assuming if I walk out onto the battlefield, then I'm going to be forced into a fight. But I need to heal, but unfortunately, I don't have much choice. Guess I'm going to have to go out there then. Whatever. I must remember, to learn from defeat is a greater victory than any outcome. Yup. Excellent, I'll use this time to study a technique. Go Kiki! I know whose side you're on. Kiki has a gym match? Who's the challenger this time? That'd be me, buddy. Kiki is quite an opponent. I feel sorry for whoever has to face her. Don't pity me. Go Kiki, you're the best. Put the challenger to the test. We've got cheerleader here now. You are clearly not okay with this. That's why you fought me though. Another perk of living here. Free entertainment. Li live gym battles totally beat TV. Damn right. Especially when you're the one losing in them. A gym match you can bet I'll be watching. Cool, cool. You do that. I am going to heal my Pokemon. And I am going to switch out Beedoof. Because Beedoof is not going to fucking help me whatsoever in this fight. So I may as well use something else. But what do I use is the question. Looking at my options, straight away Heatmore seems like a great candidate because he's level 40, so he'll definitely take a hit. I don't think anything else I have will. Snubble might have if I had it, but I can't go very- Oh, I can go to the daycare and get it out, but why would I do that now? So you know what? Yeah, I am going to have Heatmore just as like a, a, a sack if I need it. And I am going to... I'm going to lead with Meowstic. I do not know what Kiki's going to lead with, but as, as long as it isn't Scraggy, I should be fine. 
Now, what's the other lead I was going with? Septile, just in case it's a double. I've lost the in previous playthroughs. Kiki had single battle format. I'm assuming that's not changed this time, but if it has, then I definitely want Septile in the front. If you're ready, please take your place. Very well. Vero, let us see how well your discipline holds you. The challenger, Vero, will now face the gym leader, Kiki, in a 6 on 6 battle. If I put one of my Pokemon away and had only 5, they'll probably still say 6 on 6. <laughs> either competitor can make substitutions. The battle will end when all 6 of either trainer's Pokemon are unable to battle. Begin. Very well. I'm sorry I must do this to you, Kiki. But it must be done. I can see the aura. She probably has a Lucario. Alright, so straight away, I'm not I'm not using light screen because uh, her team has a chance of brick break and it's very unlikely she's got any special move. She may have them on one or two of her Pokemon, such as Medicham, if she still has that. But um M Machamp I do not need to use it on, and I also get boosted psychics. Oh wow, that actually didn't take it out. The next one will though, strength. And with pure focus. How much is that going to do? Why wasn't that very effective? Did it become a psychic type move? I think it became a psychic type move because of the field. Odd. But oh well, this will take it out because of the special defense drop I got, which was fortunate. And even if it, even if it didn't get that, I still, um, why is it? I still would have had a free hit anyway because she'd be healing, so it's fine. Now, she's going into Gallade. I sent out May Nectric against uh, Victorious one, but May Nectric actually lost to a Psycho Cut from that thing fairly quickly. So this time, I'm going to try Sceptile and see what some Leaf Blades are going to do. I doubt this is going to two-hit KO it either. Oh, it might, but it has Poison Jab. Don't poison me. Shit. Alright, I think Sceptile's gone down to this. Yup. Damn it. Alright, that's fine though, because Shadow Ball should take it out from here. And I should outspeed it. That did not take it out. Okay, I might... Oh, it's using Strength. Yeah, that won't kill me. That got a... She got a crit. I had to say that, didn't I? I think I've lost this battle now. Um, she's probably gonna heal. I'm gonna use my neck trick. I'm going to discharge. Damn it, those ultra potions heal a lot. Oh, I can two-hit KO it. Man, if I knew that, I would have went into Manectric in the first place. Instead of going out into fucking Meowstic. Toxicroak. I really wish I had a thingy for this. Meowstic. But fortunately, I can use Whiskash to Earthquake this thing. As long as it doesn't have an air balloon, this should take it out in one. Meditate. I don't think that's going to help you much drastically. Wait, that Meditate raises it by plus 3, or is that plus 4? I think it's plus 4. Jeez. It might even be plus 6, because I think the... Yeah, I think Meditate's actually raising it by plus 4 or plus 6 because of the field. Huh. Odd. Alright, she's sending out Hitmonlee. I know I can't... Um... What is it? Hitmonlee's got some decent special defense, and it has Limber, so I can't paralyze it. But at the same time, Whizcash also isn't too strong on its attacking side of things, whereas May Nectric is fully EV'd. I think this will be a 3 hit KO, but it could be a 2. Okay. Oh, apparently that Hitmonlee doesn't even have Limber. Alright, it took me out in one attack. Fair enough. It shouldn't matter too much, though, in the grand scheme of things, because I believe she's only got two Pokemon left, and those are likely this Hitmonlee and Medicham. Is it Medicham? Oh, it's Lucario. Wait, what have I taken out then? Machamp, Hitmonlee, Toxicroak. There's Lucario here, there's Gallade. Okay, I think this is her fifth Pokemon then. Oh, she lifted it, shit. That did not do much at all. Thanks to the EVs I have. Alright, so her last Pokemon should be Medicham. Yeah, Medicham, okay. Well, this is fine. I still got Houndoom as well. To minimize the chaos within, perhaps it's too late. 
Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna use Earthquake against this thing. I just realized I didn't equip a chest I bury. Oh, shit. That did a lot. That actually did a lot. Jesus Christ. Ice Punch. Okay. Um... What do I do here? I'm, go I'm gonna go into Houndoom and bite her to try and get the flinch, but if it won't to hit KO... Or I don't get the flinch and she high jump kicks my Houndoom, I'll only have heat more left, so I'll be forced to use a revive. I suppose it's not the end of the world, but I really don't want to use it here because I feel like I don't actually need to. Please get the flinch. Alright, yes, okay, and now... Citrus Berry, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I'm just gonna have to try that again, I guess. Nope. What? And now it's a fighting type move. That was a psychic type. No, it wasn't. I misunderstood. Fighting's not good against me. I'll stick here. It's been a fighting type move all this time. God damn it. Well, I have heat more now. I could try and kill it with a heat wave. But I'm not EV trained whatsoever. And this thing's probably going to outspeed me. So I don't think I want to take that risk. It pains me to do this. But I'm going to have to use a revive on this. On one of my Pokemon. Oh, I have three. Okay, that's not so bad then. Alright, but what do I use it on is the question. And the answer, <coughs> I believe, is Mainectric. Because Mainectric should take it out from where it is. And if it doesn't, then I'll just get a second chance anyway. So it's completely fine. Oh, that actually did not knock me out. Okay. I guess I'll try a Heat Wave then? Nope. Knocked out. Watch that free HP that she drained from me make all the difference between Mainectric not knocking her out and actually knocking her out. Alright, Mainectric, don't disappoint me. Alright, excellent. We did it. It cost us a revive, but we took Kiki out on the first try. Sweetness. And all was silent. If she had Mega Medicham or Mega Lucario, I would have been absolutely bodied. Amidst true focus, your energy shines through. Your hard work has earned you this. Proceed. Take. Excuse me, I... Kiki! Oh, damn. Damn, that shouldn't have happened. Whoa, I mean... Uh, uh, no, what am I saying? That uh, that sucks that happened, is what I meant to say. Because everyone saw that. There you go. Just focus on your breathing. Like in beginning meditation, right? Keep it steady. You're okay. Am I? There's no longer any point to keeping up a facade of serenity. No, you can't say that. After a display like that, collapsing in the courtyard... My glass reputation is already shattered. Nobody could be as strong as you have through all of this. Look at everything you've done, all the people you've made happy, and... And in the end, for as strong as I've been, I'm still too weak. Please calm down. How can I? Defeat the inner chaos? Did you think I was only talking about Zen of the Mind? I could be sent to Zed Zero and I will still end up just that. No amount of meditation is going to change the simple fact that my body is killing itself. You're completely going against every word you've ever said right now. Victoria... Ah... Uh, please leave me. I wish to be alone right now. Okay, Kiki. I've never seen Kiki get upset like that before. But then, I've never seen her faint before, either. She must be going through so much. I understand if she just needs to rest alone for a while. I'll try and keep things together, so she can hopefully get better, at least a little. Anyway, I'll be sure to get the machine from her too, and your badge of course. Oh, I still haven't fucking got those. Man, although, if she doesn't make it, that badge would be reset. Anyway, there's something that's been bothering me. Um, wasn't Kane supposed to be uh, wasn't Kane coming to challenge her too? Kiki said he was never here. Yeah, I noticed that. You saw him leave from the Coral Ward, right? Yep. I think it's very strange. Could he have gotten lost? I mean, it's kind of hard to miss a beach as big as this one. But, I think there is one place between here and there. Azuran Island. I think if he's anywhere, something must have happened to him there. Would you go and look for him? After all, 
He still has the key to get into the wasteland. I'll take care of Kiki, don't worry about her. Would you go and look for Kane at Azuran Island? After all, he still has the key to the get in the wasteland. Okay, you said that already. <coughs> I think I think a couple of these people say something different because um, Kiki collapsed. But I, I don't care to try and find out what they said. <coughs> anyway though, I'm going to have to get the boat to Azuran Island to find out where Kane is. But seeing as I've got to get the boat anyway, I think I'm actually going to check if Drifloon is in the barrel ward first. I like clay, metronome, flame plate, nothing, no iron. Alright. Right, I'm going to put Houndoom in front. I'm going to put, uh, my Sceptile 41, my Neck Trick, Meow Stick, Whizcash, and Bidoof. Okay. Alright then, I think I'm going to go to Drift. I'm going to go check the barrel ward and see if Drifloon is there first. And if he isn't, then I'll just go straight to Kane. But if he is, then I will see you guys at the Barrel Ward. So I shall be back momentarily. Okay, so I made it to the bridge and Drifloon and the boy are here. It doesn't seem to matter that it's night time. But before I do that, um, I actually forgot to start recording again when I did this. So I am stupid for this. But I actually bought some items from the uh, department store since I happened to be going past. Because the fourth floor has a bunch of things like air balloons and absorb bulbs and, and white herbs, mental herbs, stuff like that. A bunch of competitive battle items, most of which you won't really be using, but some are good to have. Um, I got a bunch of air balloons because they could be beneficial to Houndoom and Magnetric at some point, seeing as they're both weak to ground moves, especially Magnetric. So I got a bunch of those just so Magnetric can use them in times where he might de he might need them. I bought a smoke ball, just so I can give it to someone to run away from battle at any time in case I need to. I'm actually going to give that to Whizcash for now since he's slow. I also There's also power items on the floor as well. <coughs> I decided each one was only about fifth, oh, each one was $15,000, so they're all quite expensive. So I could only get four. Uh, there's five that I really want to get. But I got the four that are most beneficial to me, which are the power weight, which raises HP, the anklet, which raises speed, the lens, which raises special attack, and the power belt, which raises uh, defense. So, uh, you know, I have those. Um, I might do a quick overview of everything that's there again next time I unlock another floor of the, the department store, which, thinking about it, will actually be really soon since I'm doing this side quest. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd address that. Seeing as uh, I fucked up when I went to the department store. But now we're going to do this side quest. So there's this Drifloon here. And we've got to take it out to save this boy, I believe. I'm, I'm scared. I tried to grab a balloon I saw floating down the street. But it turned out it was that Pokemon. It carried me all the way up here. Will I ever be able to get back home? It's kind of weird to think that Drifloon took him all the way to this gym as well. Considering how creepy this place is. Anyway, let's fight Drifloon, shall we? What level is it? 20. That's actually pretty dangerous. Hmm. What am I gonna do? Not really sure what to do about this because all my Pokemon are way too high level for this. Uh, I might just throw balls at it. I think that's the only thing I can really do if I want to catch it, which I do because I think this is the only Drifloon in the game you can actually get. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna try that and see how it goes. Because there's really not much I can do. Especially not with Houndoom out here. Like what the fuck is Houndoom gonna do? Anything I do will kill it instantly. Anything I do with any of my Pokemon. Oh, actually no. No, if one Fury Cutter from Sceptile, it might live. It you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh actually, one thing I do need to check as well is Drifloon's hidden ability, so give me a moment to check that. Alright, it's hidden ability is Flare Boost. Not exactly sure what that does or how it activates, but um, I guess I can check it in the PC when I get it. Thinking about it, I really should have put Bidoof away because Bidoof is not helping here at all and I don't actually need him right now, but screw it. I also forgot to switch into Sceptile, so I'm going to rectify that mistake right now. Let's use Fury Color. Yeah, okay, that did nothing. I could probably afford to use another one and it would still be fine. So let's try it. 
As long as I don't get a crit. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, I'm going to throw another Pokeball. This should catch it now, because Drifloon is... Drifloon's catch rate isn't that high as far as I remember. Excellent, we got it. That saves some time. There we go. Loves damp humid places, apparently. It was in PC now. Let's talk to the boy. Haha, uh -huh. you beat Drifloon? That means it's safe to leave, right? Uh, okay, I think I can make it home. I live in the Lapis Ward, so, um, you're really cool, so you should come visit sometime. Okay, thank you, bye. Alright, bye, kid. I need to go check on this Drifloon, though, so I may just have to save you again. May just. May just. But we'll see. Please have flare boost. You have unburdened. You bitch. Alright, well, I will be back shortly then. Alright, we got Drifloon. It has flare, blue, uh, flare boost. The kid's now gone back to the Lapis Ward, so I don't have to do that anymore. God damn. Alright, I need to get back to Lapis Ward now. Oh. 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 Okay. For a second there, I was thinking maybe I should have just cut that out. And just started talking again at the Lapis Ward. But never mind. There's now a group of uh, Venipede and Scolipede here. So I guess it was worth me talking after all. Ah, help me, please. And I just realized I also didn't um, swap Sceptile out. Okay, it's playing the wild Pokemon battle theme, but we're fighting a... This is technically a trainer battle? Oh, well, I guess I'll go into Houndoom. He can uh, sweep this entire team. I'm wondering what we get out of doing this, though. Because I, do I don't... Re I know... I think I knew of this event, but I don't remember what reward you reap for doing it. So this could either be potentially very rewarding or a complete waste of time. Scolipede, alright. Show me what you got, bruh. You ain't got shit, mate. Apparently. Okay, that was a pretty powerful hit, actually. But it doesn't matter, because... Uh, I am going to take you out with this next move. So it's fine. Handoom just sweeped you. Pretty much what I expected. Yay. Shh. Alright, we did it. Small child. Oh my god, you are so amazing. You took on all three of those bugs by yourself and you totally saved me. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Ah, I was on my way home and those gross things cornered me. But I'm sure I can make it there now. Thank you so much for saving me. Bye! I do not know where your home is, to be quite honest with you. You could be that child from the Jasper Ward that that woman mentioned. Wait... Wait, no, actually, I think I do remember reading something about that. I think this is the same kid we just saved from the Drifloon. I think he gets into whole heaps of trouble, if I remember correctly. So we're probably going to end up seeing him again very soon, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, we're just going to carry on heading back for now. And if we see him again, we see him again. If we don't... And we can assume we made it back safely. Right, I'm gonna go into the Grand Hall really quick. Because I did check the TV while I wasn't recording. And Gardevoir did say something new on the news. Hello everyone, it's me, everyone's favourite Gardevoir. Here with the latest and greatest and breaking news. Breaking news! The abandoned factory in the Peridot Ward. Infamous for having its ha uh, continued running for years seemingly with no cause. Has suddenly shut down. I, your stealthy gossip Gardevoir, went in depth and undercover to discover the truth behind this mechanical mayhem, and the result was shocking. It turns out, the factory was secretly being run by none other than Team Meteor. And more, they were using it to deliberately poison Azura and Lake. What a terrible thing to do. But what could Team Meteor possibly gain from it? Even now, the water doesn't seem to be clearing up. Is there more treachery afoot? Stay tuned to find out. I wonder... Could they be on Azurin Island? Are they behind... Are they doing something there to poison the water too? Maybe. Not sure where to head. 
A new gym has opened, located in the wasteland. Be sure to check it out. Okay, well, I've beaten Kiki, so I guess that's the next gym I can head to. But I cannot go there yet, because I do not have the key from the ca from Kane. So, uh, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Alright, this kid should be in the Lapis Ward. I think there was actually one more group of Pokemon that stopped him getting home, as far as I remember. But I have not seen anything like that, so I'm I'm just going to check his house out. Because I know where he lives. He lives right here. Oh yeah, he made it. Hey, Someday I'll be as strong as you, and I think you give me a sticker for this, right? You did it. You found my baby. I can never thank you enough. I know it's not much, but do you have any use for a department store sticker? They are quite rare. Just consider it a token of my much deeper gratitude. Alright, so we got another with a department store sticker, so now we can go up to the fifth floor. And since we've got to go back that way to get back to the Coral Ward anyway, I may as well show you the fifth floor. Because looking at my list, there actually seems to be some decent stuff in there that I want to get. I don't have much money, so I probably won't be able to get much, but if I can get a few things in there, then that's fine with me. Alright, here we are. Since I'm here, I'm just going to show you guys what's on the fourth floor really quickly. I already briefly went over it, but I may as well show you everything just since we're here. So we got air balloon, white herb, mental herb, power herb, absorb bulb, snowball and cell battery. Air balloons, white herbs, and power herbs are good, but everything else is pretty meh. And on top of that, we also have smoke ball, destiny knot, and all of the power items. There was also a TM for round in here, but I've already bought that, so it's gone. Wasn't too much though, so if you want to get it, feel free. I'm, I should probably get... Nah, nah, it's 1,000. I'm not going to do that when I've only got 3k. One thing I actually forgot though, is that I got Shadow Claw. And I haven't bothered to teach it to anyone, if they, if anyone even can. Which they apparently can't, which surprises me. I thought Sceptile would be able to, but I guess not. Well, yeah, um, don't forget to teach your TMs to people. Shadow Claw's a pretty good TM, so if anyone can learn it, it might be worth doing. This is the 5th floor, mid-tier, general needs and vitamins. You'd think focus sashes would be in this section, but it seems they were pulled to a higher floor. Not sure if that's referencing that they used to be here or not, but... Oh, great balls, super potions, super repels, full heals and pokey dolls. Right, well I want some full heals, because they'll be handy later on. Pretty much spent all my money on those, but whatever, it's worth it. And we've got the vitamins as well, I don't really feel like spending all that money on those. But if you want to abuse the trainers in the Grand Hall to get an infinite amount of money, then you could definitely do this. Though really, if the amulet coin is in the game, then I would suggest waiting until you get it before really doing that. But saying that, by that point, you uh, your Pokemon may already have all the EVs they need anyway, and you'd be spending that money on the berries instead. Who knows? I, I guess it's all circumstantial, but if you want to, then feel free to buy them, but they are quite pricey, so I personally would not recommend it. I think buying the power items, it would be a much wiser option. Alright, let's go to Azurin Island then, just to see what's there. I'm probably not going to do much while I'm here. Oh, this music, hold up. Alright, looking at the party, I want Houndoom in front. This music though, wait... Alright, uh, there's wild Pokemon on this island too. There's, there's also a stray Pokeball on that island over there. Uh, it seems like we can walk on these uh, pad things as well by the looks of it. It seems like they create a path for us to walk across. Score Rupee. High level, but I'm not going to take it out. I want to preserve my PP. The field is swamped. Um, I have a feeling this is going to benefit grass and... Uh, Water Pokemon. Oh, there's a Fungoose here. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to bite that thing and try and catch it, I think. Or I'm just going to accidentally hit it with a Fire Fang because it's in the first slot now. Don't worry, though. There should be more uh, Fungus around here, so it's fine. Fungus? Fungus. Fungus. Oh, I can cut this tree. Okay. 
Huh. I didn't even recognize that that was a cut tree. I just thought that was a tree that I could headbutt or was in the way or something. Couldn't do anything about it, but I was wrong. Right, let's actually use bite this time. Okay, effect spore put me to sleep, but that's fine because Fungus is uh, in the red HP range. I should be able to catch it in one or two Pokeballs. Oh, this swamp is uh, lowering my stats, apparently. That's not good at all. I need to end this quickly. Hopefully it will stay in this one ball. There we go. Oh, I don't care if it's got its hidden ability because I can probably find more in the grass anyway. There we go. I call Fungus. Oh, I'm not nicknaming it. Why did I do that? All right, I'm going to have to wake up Houndoom now. I think you can actually catch some bug types on this island. I'm not 100% what exactly you can find here. But I think things like uh, Heracross, Pineco, Pinsir, I think they can all be found here pretty rare. I could be wrong though, so don't don't hold me to that. <coughs> Alright, what else is there? There's a TM over there, I'm going to go nab that. Sleep talk, that's fucking useless. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here either. I'm glad I came this way just for sleep talk. Ugh. Gross move. Never useful when you use it, but useful when other people want to use it. Actually, can I, can I go this way? Oh, I can go this way. Okay. Interesting. Let's cut this tree down. I think that's a fungus right there, but uh, we'll see. No, it's an antidote. Sweet. The more, the merrier. I should also be pro probably be checking these uh, random patches of grass, too, because there's probably things in those spaces. Alright, I'm not gonna bother with this. I'm just gonna run. I don't know if the fungus will still be there, but I really don't care. Okay, it actually went cool. Fine by me. Resist wing. Um, tiny mushroom. Okay, there's a plenty of items around here. Uh, is there something here too? I can't even go there apparently, so never mind. What is up here though? I think I can get something. No, never mind. Not there. There's all these mushrooms everywhere. I'm going to have lots of stuff to sell. Damn. Uh, is that a rock? Yep. And there's a thing. Oh, you can find gloom. Interesting. I guess this is uh, how I had Blossom. Because in the first time I played Reborn, I had a Blossom on my team. And I must have caught a gloom here in order to get that. Because I, 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 then, fuck, Oddish may be in a, it may have been available in previous versions of the game, but I don't think you can actually find Oddish around here. You might be able to. But I thought I found one earlier on in the game, to be completely honest. I could just be tripping, but I'm pretty sure I did. Well, I'm going to go back up, because there was an item up here. Across the, uh, across these, okay. This is the wrong way anyway. It's here I want to go. It's, this place is actually really cool. Just the, the fact that you can run across all these rocks like this. Is this an Amoongus? No, it's another Amoongus. Go away. I do not want you. You are in the way. Shoe fly. Thunderstone. Random finding it here of all places, but that's pretty, pretty nifty. Would have been better if it was a water or a leaf stone. Preferably a water stone. But I personally am not going to be needing either of those. So I guess it doesn't matter in hindsight. It just seems weird though. Because like I found like two or three thunderstones already. Not including ones I found in rocks. And now there's that one as well. Like they're, they're just giving out thunderstones. It's really, really odd. Alright, I wasn't meant... I, I probably shouldn't have come down here yet. But I think I can get back up there quick, uh, pretty quickly, so it's fine. Swift wing. That's another fungus. I'm getting tired of all these fungus, but at least they are disappearing each time I run away. So hooray for that. Get out of here. Right, I've, got, I've got to run across this. To get back up. I want to get this rock. Okay, got the rock. <laughs> Nothing in it. What else is there? Where else can I go? I think down here. 
There's an item here. Uh, I can't get to it though. Shit. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to keep going around. Which is fine. It's just a little bit of a detour, but it's completely fine. Great ball. I don't think there's anything in the bush here. That's probably a fungus too. Yup. The fact you have to cut a tree down for fungus is extremely stupid. I mean, I guess it's a trick. So it makes sense why it would be there, but that's still annoying. Um, what's this though? Another fungus. All these damn fungus go away. God damn. running. I'm sorry if my commentary is a little bland right now, by the way. I'm getting kind of tired. And I'm trying not to be too loud because everyone's gone to bed while I was mid-recording, so, you know, I'm just trying to keep my voice down and not say too much so that uh, they don't kind of just storm up here and ruin the video. Okay, that's a headbutt tree. Doesn't look much different from a cut tree, but, uh, you know, it's there anyway. Oh, there's a bush here. Dusk ball. I'm probably going to be saving those dust balls, but I'm liking the fact that they're giving out dust balls, because dust balls are cool and very handy balls. Okay, how do I get that one up there? I, I, I came this way. Um, how do I get that Pokeball up there? Oh, there's Palpitoad here. I think Seismitoad's actually a pretty useful Pokemon. It's very weak to uh, grass moves. And I'm not sure how good its defenses are, but I remember it being fairly decently defensive. It can be either physical or special attacker, if I remember right. And it's actually quite a fast mon, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't exactly excel in any stats, but I think it's good all around. Particularly in speed and special attack, I believe. I could be wrong, it might be physical attack instead. But yeah, regardless, Palpatoad... That might be a, a good catch if you don't have a water Pokemon yet for some reason. You really should have one by now, but if you don't, I would recommend getting Palpatoad. It's a good grass, uh, ground type too. So, you know, if you don't like Whiskash, you can just get Palpatoad instead. That's a, that's a decent, uh, decent alternative. If you want a water and ground type and you didn't start with Mudkip. And there's still all these fungus everywhere. I'm not liking how many fungus there are. Go away, man. At least hide in the grass if you're gonna do this. Like, too many of you. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. It's fine though, because I did miss a Pokeball, so this gives me a chance to go back and find out how to get it. I think. Um, where do I go actually? I think I can come out of here. Yep. Oh, a green shard, sweet. I didn't even realize that was there. That works out perfectly. Can I get something here too? Nope, okay. Let's go this way then. Is it not kind of annoying backtracking, especially since like every time I fucking walk into any bit of grass, something seems to appear here, but... That's just this island. If you want to get every single item on it, you are going to be doing quite a bit of wandering. So get used to that. I say get used to it, but I don't think I can get used to this. I literally walked into one tile of grass and the gloom appeared again. This is actually really fucking annoying. The only reason I'm not using repels right now is because I'm hardly walking in any grass. It's just odd patches, but at the same time, everything is appearing in these odd patches very quickly. So uh, it's making me wonder should I actually or should I not, you know? Uh, where else can I go? I think I can go down here. There is an item. Is it Miracle Seed? Interesting. I already have the Rose Incense, so I don't really need that right now, but, um... Miracle Seed is a good item. And if you do not have a Rose Incense for some reason, then you can use that instead. How do I get that? I really want to know how to get that. Alright, can I go down here, though? I think I can, but where would it take me? Okay, I think I got a dust ball by going down here, if I remember right, so... I also have no reason to be walking on any of this crap, do I? Nope, I don't need to be, I went this way already. So, 
Come on. Every single bit of grass. I mean, at least it's a zoo bat, so it's not something half decent, but I'm not using that either. Just go away. You know, that's, I think that's actually the first wild zoo bat we've seen, and that's really odd. We've seen plenty of Wu Bat and Noi Bat, but I think that's the first zoo bat. That's actually very weird. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Where do I have to go? I'm not supposed to be going up again because I need to be heading towards the south of the island. So which way? I think this is the way I have to go. Yeah, this is looking like the right way. I still haven't got that one Pokeball, but I, I'll have to go back for that one, I guess. Green Shard. Oh, there's a Healy thing there. That doesn't seem very, uh, very kind. But actually, no, that's not what I meant. It's a kind thing to put there, but I mean, it doesn't really speak well for what could be inside. So I'm going to grab that real quick, just because uh, Houndu could use it. But I'm actually going to call this an episode here, because this is probably bordering an hour long now. And I am pretty much out of time to record. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a like rating to show your support for the playthrough. Be sure to leave any comments giving tips, suggestions, advice, and opinions. As well as letting me know about any event Pokemon that I have missed. And perhaps how to get them as well, if you know, like, details. And, um... Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to see more of this playthrough as well as other comments like this. And with that all being said and done, I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then.